And finally tonight, a new law signed today ushered us into a wild future. California became the latest state to allow cars that drive themselves out on the highway. We'll all start to notice them in just a few years, but our senior national correspondent Jim Avila tried one out. You've seen this, cars that slam on the brakes before you hit a pole. But here's something you have never seen, the car of the future, making the driver totally unnecessary. No hands. Google's working on one, and the federal government is sponsoring a field test in Ann Arbor, Michigan, with cars that automatically swerve past potential accidents and alert you to oncoming hazards. And now this, at General Motors' test track, I sat in the driver's seat as this Cadillac, at high speeds, stayed in its lane. At 60 miles an hour, it stopped on its own, even when a car driving 30 miles slower suddenly pulled in front of us. We can foresee the day when vehicles will be able to completely avoid collisions. It's been a car maker's dream since George Jetson sat in his automated flying car. The Jetsons could happen. And the vehicle can take complete control and take you to your destination in comfort and in safety and security. This prototype, called Super Cruise, uses radar, cameras, and GPS to drive itself. Hands are off the steering wheel, feet are off the pedals. I can look away. Don't do this at home. At any time, the driver can take back control. But on the highway, when driving is the least fun and humans are easily distracted, Super Cruise can safely navigate the hazards. The system is it does not get distracted, uh, it doesn't um, fall asleep. And is expected to be in the first GM cars as early as 2015. Jim Avila, ABC News, Detroit.